I'm Andrea Smith with CE Week TV. We're here at CE Week 2015. The halls are packed with people. There's so much going on. And I'm so excited. I have Head Monster Noel Lee with me. Thank you so much for joining us. Andrea, thank you so much for having me here. That's great. You, you know, you've got great products this year. I want everyone to go online and check out all the new products. But I do have a couple of questions to ask you. Sure. Okay? Because, you, you know, for a very long time, we knew Monster associated with Beats. Yes. Um, and you no longer are. And I really want to know, how are you doing without Beats? And I also want to know how Beats is doing, or how you think Beats is doing, without Monster. Well, uh, if you look at that Beats Monster equation, they did marketing, we did everything else. All the design, all the infrastructure, all the uh, supply chain, uh, the engineering, uh, and it was really difficult for us because we threw the whole company at it, and yeah. you know, I went and hired all your engineers, all your everybody, because it was such a just a booming business that we saw the vision along with uh, uh, Jimmy and Dre. So yeah. you know, it, it, it consumed us, okay, yeah. uh, in a way. So, uh, but I learned how to design audio, especially with headphones, that was phenomenal. Uh, you know, as an engineer by uh, training, I, I was able to do things with uh, headphones and deliver yep. an experience that nobody had ever yep. heard Amazing before, and, that, and it changed the world. Yep. Yep. So after, uh, now that we uh, separated, we're doing our own thing called Pure Monster Sound with yep. a bunch I, of I new products. I have to tell you, I tried some and they're awesome. They just sound amazing. Well, it's the next generation, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's the next step after, uh, you know, just powerful bass. Yep. It's not just about bass, it's about uh, clarity, transparency. Comfort. It's, and it's not just about hip hop, yep. uh, you know, it's about uh, classical country and jazz. Yep. Uh, but the comfort, it was a huge thing for us. A new look was uh, yep. huge for us. So we took uh, everything that we did and we're uh, on to uh, our other products. Like, so before I ask you about that, how is Beats doing without you? What do you think? You know, uh, well, first of all, they are still making many of the products that we made uh, using our vendors, but uh, their new products, uh, you know, a lot of people are not liking them. Mm -hmm. So uh, <laughs> I, hope you saw them. I, I don't know if it's true or not. I've never taken them on your bar, but they put weights in it to make it feel more premium. I mean, that's kind of crazy. And, uh, and some gosh. issues. Some well, they had a recall. They, they had a recall. They had a recall yeah. of, uh, what was that, uh, about $100 million worth yeah. of uh, Bluetooth of speakers. Yeah. At, uh, so I don't know. I would say uh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, let's go back to what you're working on because yeah. you disrupted the headphone industry big yes. time. So yes. what's next? What's next is uh, uh, several things. One is how do we innovate? Monster's always been about uh, taking something, making it better, changing it. Uh, and the latest products we're showing here, one is the back float speaker, which is yeah. way cool. So, so just so people know, that's such a cool speaker. It will actually float on water. It's waterproof. And it actually, doesn't it do like a little water spout? Uh, you can, you can have a little uh, Bellagio fountain yep. in your bathtub, right? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, but it was just showing how much air it moves. And the thing mm -hmm. is, first of all, phenomenal sounding uh, because it's, I got lofty goals and uh, it came off better than I ever thought it would. That's great. Uh, but then this idea of floating, I didn't know people would really care that much, uh -huh. but it's it's the big hit of this, uh, That's this show. That's awesome. That is great. Yeah. And you know, you and I talked a little bit uh, earlier um, about what's next. We, you, we, you mentioned connectivity and the Internet of Things. Yeah, yeah. Well, so it, our business has changed a lot. So we started out in the cable business, you know, connecting uh, amp, big powerful yep. amplifiers to speakers. And then it graduated to uh, video, HDMI, uh, and those kind of things and getting the highest performance. And that's, we still do that and it's still true. However, uh, the way uh, consumers consume content is way different now. Yep. You can buy a network TV, not ever have a Blu-ray player, not ever have a CD player, and get all the content. So if you don't need those devices, you don't need the cables. Right. But here's what you do need. Every one of those network devices need high speed. Yes. And Wi-Fi is not fast enough. 
Have you ever had a little, you know, a round a buffering? Buff yeah, we call it the circle buffering. of death, but we call, we call it the circle of death, right? So you're just kind of waiting. Right. And when it gets to uh, even higher bandwidths, uh, 1080p, 4K, 8K, uh, the bandwidth is crazy. So in our little power centers, yeah. we see that's the new HDMI cable. Inside of it is a circuit that takes high-speed Ethernet, which is five times faster than Wi-Fi, right. and delivers it right to the outlet. Then you take an Ethernet cable yeah. and go from that to the TV. You got high-speed connection high every room. And then you can do all your content in high-speed. Everything is yeah. in high-speed, yeah. and you didn't have to run a single wire. That's cool. So That's all about that speed. Now, but so one more thing I do want to talk about. I know we're going a little long. But uh, along those lines, streaming music, because we need the high speeds to stream music to our various speakers, and I think you're even making a nice streaming speaker. Can we you tell us about it? We just came out with something called the Soundstage. Streaming music uh, and streaming music speakers, uh, you know, really commanded by, uh, you know, our partners at Sonus really pioneered that. Uh, but what does for the consumer is puts music in every room in a house again without having to run no physical wire so if you can uh it's got low enough bandwidth uh, for music that you don't need super high speed so wi-fi network speakers are the rage i think it's going to go crazy because a lot of places you can't install wire if you wanted to exactly. you know, condominiums apartments right yep. so we designed something called soundstage which is the next generation you know uh, crazy wi-fi developed for us by qualcomm you know with the uh, you know high resolution speed it'll stream all the high resolution audio uh, you know where some of the other people can't but really is it integrating bluetooth and wi-fi together and that's what's so interesting when I yeah. saw it. It's integrated Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. It really, I mean, it's little. There's one little one yeah, and there's yeah. one larger one. But I heard this and it just blew away the room. You were playing some Frank Sinatra there and it sounded really good. So, well, audio is our thing. You know, yes, so. of course. So amazing, really fun stuff coming from Head Monster Noli. Thank you so much for Andrea, joining me. Andrea, thank you, thank you. You're, I, the, you're the buzz of the party. <laughs> thank you. Always a pleasure. I'm Andrea Smith for CE Week TV.